ultra short throw and interactive. Yes, there are a lot of ultra short throw projectors that are out there in the market. We could probably spend an entire class just talking about ultra short throw technology. That's kind of its own um, category as of this point in Pro AV. There is a surface that we have that is designed specifically for that market that's called IDEA. You will notice the lower half angle there. Um, the reason it is a lower half angle is because that gain is very high. It's a 2.5 gain. So that 7,000 lumen projector that we have here, if we're using something like parallax, that's not bringing 7,000 lumens back to us. That's giving us more like 17 and a half thousand lumens. So most ultra short throw projectors tend to be a little bit on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of, in terms of lumens. As of this year, Epson's probably the high end of that at about 4,400. But most projectors that you're seeing are about 3,000 lumens around that range. So IDEA produces a very, very bright image, which is a good thing because these types of ultra short throw projection systems are usually placed in, in an environment that has a lot of lights, like a classroom. The why on this type of product is it is designed specifically for the ultra short throw projection market. It does pair excellently with um, touch interactive systems. So if you're aware of the technology, we used pens for touch interaction for a really long time. Now the standard is just like we have on our smartphone, you would use your hand to do the touch interaction and it would be the same type of gesturing and motion that you'd use on your smartphone. You need a very rigid surface for that and that's what a surface like IDEA can do to help you out with that touch system. It does have a very broad size range. As a single panel, we do it up to 121 inches. As a panoramic, which would be a multi-panel wide solution, we do that up to 26 and a half feet wide. And it is proprietary to us. It's unique to us. No other um, manufacturer has a surface like this. So typical Pro-AV installation, something like that. Um, this is the panoramic version. You see the center section here is for the actual projection system itself. And this would be a touch interactive system. That's a current gen Epson Brightlink projector there. The side panels, you could use them as a writing surface as well. That center panel can be used as a writing surface, but when it's under projection, sometimes maybe you want to take notes um, on the side. So for the classroom environment, for the huddle space environment, um, we are seeing this type of projection system being installed more and more and more, especially if they're just looking for a basic display that's good for collaboration. Um, you have newer products like the um, Google Jamboard that just came out, which is kind of a freestanding TV that's for collaboration. This kind of goes next above that market where you're seeing uh, collaboration in spaces that would be more of the 100 inch diagonal size. Then above that, you're getting into a whole different type of projection system. So the sweet spot really is about 100 inches diagonal for this type of product. And you can see the types of markets that um, are really great for Pro AV for it. Um, besides education, you are seeing it in more diverse environments lately. And go talk to any of the projector manufacturers down there in the trade show floor. They'll say the same thing. Is that, is that more surfaces on the side, or is it the exact same surface? It's the exact same surface across um, all the panels. Um, it just typically on a widescreen format like that, they would use the center panel for dedicated projection, but it's the same surface throughout. And it's same as the three piece? Yeah, for our manufacturing right now, we do maximum as a three piece design. Um, we got a little ambitious and did it a little bit larger before, but for installation purposes, uh, three pieces is what we cap it as right now, which is 26 and a half feet wide when you max it out.